That was, uh, first of all, I just want to thank you, uh, Ruth and Rufus and everybody here from the, uh, the Royal Priesthood, I believe is what it is. So we're just really grateful that we could be here and we're grateful that we could come and share this night tonight. And uh, I just want to uh, share with you that um, right now, God is raising up this generation with fire and with zeal and with an anointing and an authority of the Holy Spirit. And we're going to pray over them. We're not here to talk, we're here to pray. But I am going to read something and uh, just to, so that we can remember um, what the destiny is that God has for us. And so I'm going to actually read from Acts chapter 2 and uh, in verse, uh, verse 17. And um, or actually, I'll start from verse 16. And this is right after, we know the story, right after the Holy Spirit poured out. And Peter gets up and he's preaching and he says, And this was what was spoken by the prophet Joel. And it shall come to pass in the last days, said God, that I will pour out my spirit on all flesh. Your sons and daughters shall prophesy. Your young men shall see visions. Your old men shall dream dreams. And on men's servants and on my maid servants, I will pour out my spirit in those days and they shall prophesy. I will show wonders in heaven above and signs on the earth beneath, blood and fire va and the vapor of smoke. The sun shall be turned into darkness and the moon turned into blood before the coming of the great and awesome day of the Lord. And it shall come to pass that whoever calls on the name of the Lord shall be saved. And so as we pray, you know, what, our, what is in our heart is the things that God has declared about this generation. And we see, you know, things in the media. We see all of these things that seem like this generation is going away that's away from God. And I'm going to tell you that God has promised to come to every generation and reveal himself. And that's his promise. And if God says he's going to reveal himself, he's going to reveal himself. And so I just have some... To, I have some examples of uh, young men, and we have young women here that have turned their hearts to the Lord, and they're on fire, and the zeal of the Lord is consuming them, and the power of the Holy Spirit is coming and pouring out a spirit. So we're going to pray for that, and I'm going to pray, and then I'm going to turn it over to my brothers here, and they're going to pray as well. So Father, I just thank you, Lord God, for the nations that are gathered here. I thank you that we have red and yellow, black and white, Lord God. And we, we thank you that Jesus loves the little children. He loves all the children of the world, red and yellow, black and white. They are precious in his sight. And Father, we know that as much as we're concerned about our young people, and as much as we're concerned about our children and our brothers and our sisters and our peers and our grandchildren, you're concerned much more and that your heart will go out and pursue them. And so we thank you, Father, for the promises that you have for this season. I thank you, Lord God, for the evidence, Lord God, that you are... Are, are, that everyone that calls out to you shall be saved. And we see, Lord God, your hand coming to bring, Lord God, in these desperate times, we see your hand coming to caress these hearts and to touch them and bless them and to call them into the kingdom. And so we just say to this generation, come into the kingdom. The kingdom of God is at hand. You are set aside for a purpose that you're not even aware, but it's written in your heart by the Most High God. So we just call for you to come and to receive the promise and the inheritance that's set before you. And Father, we ask, Lord God, we thank you that we believe there's a covenant in this new year. There's a promise that you've established for us in this new year, Lord God, that you're bringing in a harvest. And I ask, Lord God, that you would stir us, Lord God. We pray for the harvest that's coming, but we ask for our hearts that we would be prepared to receive the harvest, Lord God. That we would be pre prepared, Lord God, that when we come across the ones that you've put in our path, I thank you that every day you put young people in our path, Lord God, that you've called us to pray for them and to bless them and to call them into their destiny, Lord God, that you would give us the words of life that come by your spirit. And Lord God, we would, I ask, Lord God, that you would expect, you'd put an expectation in our heart, that we would look at them and that we would see that you are prophesying, you're bringing your words from their mouths. And so we ask for a fulfillment of this prophecy now, in Jesus' name. Let's pray, God, that you just save souls. Amen. Just save souls, God. Amen, you're just, such a, you're, you're just such a business of saving souls. God, so just save souls. Just bring in your sons and daughters. Just bring in your sons and daughters. Just set them free. Thank you, God, that you set the captives free. And just I pray, God, that those that are wrapped up in bondage, God, that you would just set them free, God, that you just that they would come across our path, God, and we recognize where they're at, that just in their broken state, God, and we just see them at the, the true identity, the way that you, God, see them. God, help us to see from your perspective. Just give us... Just release this, uh, 
just help us to see just um just identities just um yeah help us just to see people from just your eyes God I pray God that you just give us eyes to see and ears to hear just um just a new uh just a new perspective God help us just to just to be able to just to just draw out that identity that um in people just not to not look at the over circumstances to not look at um what they're caught up in God but we just be able to really see um people just where they're at thank you God that that you see our, um just you see our hearts God that that you see people even where they're at you see their hearts God and that we wouldn't be consumed with the things on the, the outside but we just just give us fresh eyes and just fresh revelation and wisdom in Jesus name thank you. and father I just thank you God for that you've called us to love you've called us to love the way you have loved Lord and uh, Lord, I just pray, God, for, for your body, Lord, in the Twin Cities, Lord. Would you deliver us from, from our excuses, God? Would you deliver us from our complaining, our grumbling, God? Lord, I just pray, God, that we would just love, Lord, that we wouldn't come up with any excuses, Lord, that we would just love the way you've called us to love, God. That, that Lord, no judgments, no mistakes that people have made, God, would get in the way of this, Lord. And, and God, I just pray, Lord, would you... Would you provoke us to love, Lord, with your love, God, would you provoke us, God, that as, even as we go about our, fit, our, our regular day, Lord, that, that you would interrupt us by, Lord, just giving us daily assignments for people to, to talk to, to love on to, God, just to, just to, just, just, just to listen to them, God, show them that they're important, that we care about them, that they are important, God, I just thank you, Lord, for, for just, and all that you're doing. I thank you for your grace, God, your infinite grace, Lord. And uh, we just bless you for all you're doing in Jesus' name. Amen. Father, I ask that you pour down revelation upon your sons and daughters, God. Revelation of what is on your heart for them, God. Revelation of the heaven, Lord. Revelation of their true identities, God. Their purposes, Father God. I pray that you call them out of where they're at, Lord. The place that they're at, Lord Jesus. Even now, God, as they're out... Uh, doing their own things, Lord. I pray that you call them out, Lord. Even now, Lord, you speak to them, God. You speak to them about, uh, and you remind them of your love, Lord. Those who have been touched by you in the past, God, I pray that you remind them of how your love feels, your presence, Lord. We ask that your presence would fill them now in the area that they're in, Lord. In the Twin Cities, God, your presence would come, Father Lord. Your presence would be manifested, God, in a way that is visible, God, in a way that is tangible, Father Lord. In a way that, Lord, that is uh, irresistible, God. That your presence would go forth, Lord, and stir them now, God. Stir the young people, God, of the Twin Cities, God. Stir their hearts now, God. Turn their eyes toward you, Father, Lord. Oh, Lord, I pray that they, their eyes would be open to, to you, God, to your eyes, gazing directly to them, Father, Lord. That a revelation of your love would strike them tonight, Lord. Would hit their hearts tonight, God. Will be made known to them, Father Lord. They would receive it, God. They have to be left in all of you, Lord Jesus. Come, Father Lord. We are inviting you, Lord. We ask you, God. Can we, can we all stand and grab the hand of the person next to you? We're just going to war. 